Okay, today we're going to discuss why we decided to go with a brand new case. <coughs> Using the stock case, especially at this time and date, there's no telling on what kind of shape the stock case is in. If you're planning on building something that, uh, that has a little more horsepower than the stock 1600, you're going to have to do some machine work. The machine work is very expensive. You need to line bore it. You need to cut out for bigger pistons. You need to relieve the inside uh, for a stroker crank. Just to name a few of the things that would have to be done, including welding in web and number three cylinder. Considering everything that would have to be done and the case would have to be sent out to a company because there's nothing here locally, there's nobody here locally that can do that kind of thing. Then, with shipping, it's over a thousand dollars. This brand new Rhino case is a little over eleven hundred dollars with the case savers already installed. Now, what do you get for eleven hundred dollars? Well, you get a very thick case that is not only capable of more than a hundred and fifty horsepower, which is probably near where the stock case is capable of, but the case already comes relieved for an 86 millimeter stroke crank and cut for 94 millimeter pistons. That's the biggest advantage as well as being capable of, of being able to handle more than 400 horsepower. So we made the decision to go with the, the new aftermarket case.